The focus that Aruba should have on blue economy, could you yeah. tell us why? Well, because you're surrounded by water and there's a lot of biomass and a lot of life there. You know, life explodes when we let it in the ocean. And land is a little bit more complicated. You have to figure that out too and take care of your soil, for instance, and take care of the biomass that is available. So you start cycling and restoring ecosystem and capturing more water, for instance, through root systems, etc. So in land, you have a lot of work to do. But in the ocean, the opportunities are immense. It's a little bit more new because humans, that's not our environment. So we've been farmers for a long time, but we haven't been farming the ocean for a long time. But it's really an area of opportunity worldwide and especially in a place as abundant with sea life like Aruba. We heard from Minister Waver and also from you that uh, islands actually have an advantage to be uh, the leaders, uh, take the leadership in circular economy. Why is that? Well, because in an island, first, you're going to hurt more. Uh, it's reality. You're going to be hurt by all the shocks, like COVID, like wars, like uh, oil prices or any um, supply chain problems. They're going to hurt you more because you, you live in an island. Also, because climate change is going to hurt you quite a bit, especially in this region, you know, with, with extreme weather events. And furthermore, the opportunity is that when you live in an island, you really understand that you have limited resources and limited space and limited everything, limited water, limited food. When you live in the planet, you may forget that, but actually it's the same thing. We're in an island planet floating through space, but in an island you can actually go on top of a mountain or get up on a plane and see it. And since that's where I live, I had to take care of that place. We have a lot of tourists here. I'm sure there's a lot of food waste. I'm guessing 50% of food in the island gets, goes to waste. That could be a huge opportunity, either to upcycle some of those foods or to have a biomass capture through, say, larvae that turn into biofuels or feed for chicken. Um, composting and creating rebuilding your soil to have organic regenerative agriculture so that is an apparent opportunity because you have this wonderful weather um, uh, also all the cars you have so many cars and I know cars don't last very long in islands with this weather um, so how do we make car sharing an opportunity how we create platforms and give pe more people access to cars so you have less cars on the island it's less congested those are cars that you can repair and that last longer I think there's a lot of opportunities around that. Lots of opportunities around the built environment. How do we envision everything that has been built already as the source of materials for the buildings of the future? So we don't have to bring more building materials here and overbuild this island more and more and more. So just to mention a few opportunities. Wow, tremendo. No está hope y contento, señora Mesta Wack. Upcoms de público, y es aquí está especialmente para el público general de Aruba. Para sobre circular economy, ya yeah, es un tema que está relativamente nuevo para hopi hopi gente y la PC Biblioteca Nacional de Aruba, junto, conjuntamente con ASEF, nos ha organizado el eh, evento aquí a la noche de Evening of Lectures. Y mañana, señora Mesta Wack, nos tiene un orador de Merca, orador de Aruba, nos tiene eh, panelista. ¿no? Y ya luna hubo la eh, apertura del de, eh, simposio también, pero para eh, colan. Escuela secundaria y educación avanzada en la filial de la Biblioteca Nacional en San Nicolás. Entonces, por mi viaje de historia de 10 años, San Nicolás está a experienciar el simposio educativo de sostenibilidad aquí en y el tema de la circular economy. Y también nos está un orador que está explica a los estudiantes y a los maestros qué es la importancia y el valor agregado qué es la economía circular. Se está algo que manera el orador eh, Manuel Marquez de Avisa, de, de un español que en América, que trabaja en Harvard, con Aruba, Mester, está arriba el voto de economía circular, pues está especialmente para Islanan y no está beneficiado de ella, pero para beneficiar de ella, vamos a educar el pueblo y para nos turcar qué es la economía circular, qué es su ventaja nan, y su desventaja, nan, pero manera que escucha, la ventaja solo tiene para Aruba. Pese el sector privado, gobierno, entrepreneurs, nan, nos me se va a trabajar junto. Así no nos logra poner la isla aquí, back on track. Aruba está un lugar que tiene hope y talento, nan, pero nos me se traja junto. Y la eh, tarea de gobierno está sumamente importante y pese también el orador con nuestra tresa de Aruba y de Afo, pese no está aquí en Aruba ahora que nan. Otra semana, eh, Específico, a mí te quiere que esta hobby importante, que el estudiante y el maestro, naturalmente, te comprende qué es la economía circular para que el futuro de la isla aquí. 
si Anang no taribe e boto, si Anang no taribe e mesu linha e pa wa que beneficio nang di economia circular e pa tene na cuenta tambe ku por exemplo e problema grande ku nos tin na e landfill na parquito bos e cambio climatico onda nos tabai conjuntamente junto ke estudiante nang nos tur me se wak junto ku gobierno no pa ka gobierno fo den ki direksion nos tabai hiba e isla aki e pe sei mes senhora education ta e yabi di e éxito di qualquer país e aruba di un bon sistema di educación nos sa e sei tin algun problema nan pero pe sei sa ki ta meta rol di e departamento de na di gobierno pa tra junto pa gara e torne cacho pa sobra tin costa bon ku ta bai sosede na isla aki